fairly typical um, example of how the process works. Talk us through, I mean, how do you get asked to do something like that? Okay, so, um, well, um, you get sent the track to begin with, and um, you get told, um, well, in that case, I wasn't told too much. It was, it, it was a track, and it was Marco, and, and you know, you didn't really know too much more. And when I listened to the track, obviously, you know, it's kind of the end of the world. And I just thought, oh, right, 28 days later, love to shoot that kind of in London, you know, in an empty London. But obviously, you can't, yeah, no, it's not enough money to do that, believe it or not, on that sort of money. Um, so, um, but I wrote, the, I wrote the treatment and um, Liz Kessler, who is the video commissioner, who's who's a very she's a she's a very sort of she's quite a bold commissioner anyway, um, and um, she so she kind of almost immediately rang up and said, you know, we absolutely love it, it's perfect. Come in for a meeting. So then you go in for a meeting with the rec you kind of generally meet her before you meet the artist. She kind of tells you the label's concerns. So the label's concerns were, is it going to be too dark? You know, is it going to be, you know, Mark Owens, like the boy next door, we want to keep, we want to keep the tape that fans. You know, there's all this marketing stuff that they, they all think about. Um, so, but, but then kind of pretty soon after that, I met Mark Owen and he of course came in with this whole idea that he wanted to be um, totally not take that anymore and you know he thought it was really great but it wasn't dark enough and could he be dead at the end um, that's that was his idea so um so I was like in that situation where I'm looking at Liz who's like no way and I'm looking at Mark who's just like yeah I think I should be dead at the end I think that'd be really cool and um, you just, you know, so you're navigating that. That's a kind of typical example of where the artist is kind of wanting to push themselves and the record company is like, mm, no, you've got to look pretty, basically. So um, that was a one, so, the, okay. And then, and then what happens, okay, we storyboarded that. That was quite an elaborate shoot. So that's a one day shoot and you've got to break down, you know, really your shots. And I had, um, I decided that I was never going to cover the whole thing on one camera. Um, I, I was going to have to have like a second unit just to do pickups. So, for example, all that bird stuff, which takes bloody hours. I mean, you know, setting a bird off and waiting for it to come back. You do, don't want to keep a crew of 30, 40 people waiting whilst you're doing that. So I just had the little crew go off and do shots of the skylines and, you know, those sort of things. And... Um, and then the main crew with all the extras, and you know that was that was um, the day shoot, and we just storyboarded it, and it was all quite. I think there was one location move. Everything was shot within this like tiny, you know, a, a cross section of a street on a Sunday in the city because you can't shoot in London in the city, you know. It's just it's so it was a Sunday. Um, and what else can I tell you? And, and yeah, there's one location moved to the bar, which kind of was my least favorite kind of thing. So it was the end of the day, and I think we had two hours to shoot that. Um, so, um, so how long was your day for a shoot like that? Well, they vary. I mean, that, that, that was probably sort of a, a six, it was probably like six till eight, sort of six yeah, it was probably something like that, six till. So 14 hours. Yeah, know. generally 14 hours. I mean, if you're in a studio, um, generally people will be a bit more um, flexible because they're kind of in nice conditions, and the crew, the crew have got food, and they're kind of, they're probably. It depends. I mean, you can, you can sort of beg a bit more time with video crews. Everyone knows that they take hours, and some, some kind of go 18 hours. You know, but you know, it's it's generally it's 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 lo much longer day than drama. Like TV is ten hours, bang, you okay, over, mm. had it. That's it. It'll mm. just there's no way it'll go over. 
So you've got 14, I mean, just kept a couple of steps back. Mm -hmm. Was it offered to several directors? And yeah, you, uh, sorry, yeah. When the, the commissioner will, will say they've got this much money and it will, they'll probably send it out to, well, at these days they can send it out to just as many people as they want. It used to be they wouldn't, they'd limit it to sort of three or four directors because, you know, bikes, courier and, you know, tapes, across London, it would all start mounting up in there, but now you can just email everything. There's like, commissioners are kind of slightly, I don't know, lazier maybe, and they just think, all oh, right, we'll get 20 people's script. I mean, that is that is quite depressing, mm. that when they don't really know what they want and they're just kind of putting it out to loads of people, um, those generally are the, you sort of know that that's a sign, those sort of jobs are a sign of like, you're gonna probably have that whole, it, that as a whole experience through the job. You know, whereas when you've got a commissioner that is very, like, no, I'm gonna get this, uh, this director, this director, yeah, that's the kind of director I want for this sort of job. And you know, they've got a kind of a route. Um, and generally those are the best jobs mm. because you're kind of not trying to please different yeah. people. So you get you got the job, and how long yeah. would it been in the planning stage before you got to the stage of shooting? That wasn't very long. That was maybe uh, ten days, right. seven seven to ten days. It was very quick. I remember it was very quick. So from over. from being confirmed as the director yeah. to actually shooting. shooting.